What's up, everybody? This is Info Media Reacts. Welcome to the channel. Let's get at it right now. Now, I don't know how many of you have been hearing all the rumbling throughout social media as it relates to hip hop and who created hip hop. Now, I'm going to tell you right now without with full confidence, and that's Lord Jamal, who's been who's been talking about this issue as well. I, I can say this with full confidence because I'm, I'm 54 years old. I used to break dance, strut. Uh, I've seen a lot in hip hop and its development and growth over time and its development. And I can tell you that a uh, hip hop was created by black American youth, particularly preteen youth. We're talking about 10 years old, 11 years old, 12 years old, 13 years old. And it was the older teenagers and, and young adults who stole the music from what the youth were doing and creating it. Now you have other groups like Puerto Ricans and Jamaicans who have contributed to the legacy of hip hop, but they weren't there at the creation. That's the argument. That's the debate. Lord Jamal has been at the center of this debate. And we know we have people like fat Joe, uh, who has said that hip hop was 50 50 created by Puerto Ricans and uh, black Americans. Mm, that can be the best. I, I don't agree with that. Then, of course, we've got uh, Buster Rhymes, who in a video of a couple of years ago said some very disrespectful things about black, uh, about America, or doesn't have any, there's no culture here when black Americans are the ones who have set the culture. And he was talking about that it was the Caribbean energy and the Puerto Rican energy that brings culture here as if black Americans didn't even have culture. And the fact of the matter is, is that a lot of people who, who have come here over the years, they've been influenced by black American culture. You see, rap music, the creation of it goes all the way back to the foundation when black people were coming out of slavery into reconstruction into Jim Crow. So we're talking about blues, jazz, rhythm, funk, soul, all of that stuff was being created by black people. When you look at the Ohio players in, in, in Ohio, you had music coming out of Detroit. You had the Motown out of Detroit. You had a uh, ragtime music, jazz, you name it. We, we were doing it. The tap dancing, all these different things that black people were doing. We set the stage <laughs> for the culture that other people were influenced by, okay? Even someone like uh, Bob Marley was influenced by Motown. There's a pictures of there's a picture of Bob Marley where they're dressing like a Motown group. His hair is cut short. They're wearing a suit. This is way before Bob Marley got into doing the reggae music as we know it. So this is where Lord Jamal is making a challenge, y'all. And that challenge is that he's challenging. All these different people like a KRS one who um, was on video speaking to a group of people on video saying that rap music would not exist without um, Puerto Ricans. But in fact, by saying that you're talking about creation and black Americans are black youth have created that music because most of the music that you're hearing in rap is music that's being sampled by soul, funk, blues, gospel, all the music that we grew up listening to in our households that we heard our mothers listening to, our fathers, our uncles, our grandfathers. All this has an impact in the influence of the music, okay? James Brown has been the most heavily sampled individual when it comes to rap music. So Lord Jamal is standing on solid ground when he talks about the history. And I've done a video where I displayed the things that Lord Jamal said about how black people uh, influenced the music. And then people came over, whether it be Puerto Ricans, Jamaicans, and they contribute to a, uh, not only an art form, but hip hop is a lifestyle. Hip hop being the culture, rap being the, 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 the music, the, the, the lyrics. The, then you have the graffiti art the the dance and lord jamal has laid it all out i'm going to show you a video with lord jamal as he's challenging everyone who has been out there talking about hey 
black Americans didn't create hip hop. It was created by this group or that group. Well, he wants to put a stop to all of this. And he has put a challenge for towards all these different players. Crazy leg. Now crazy leg was definitely um, like a break dancer back in the day. Let me put crazy leg up here and let you see him right here. So crazy leg, uh, he called him all out and he's basically saying, let's have a cipher. Let's have a rap cipher or a cipher, which is where you can test knowledge of self. A rap cipher is usually where you have like a rap battle, but you also can have the knowledge of self, uh, the discipline of knowledge. And, and let me just read this to you real quick. A rap cipher is an informed gathering of rappers who come together to improve, create, and enjoy music. During a cipher, artists take turns rapping over a over a shared beats, showcasing yeah, their true. lyrical talents in a collaboration collaborative environment the term can also be referred to a group of fans or followers who gather to watch the impromptu hip-hop uh, rap performance but not only that ladies and gentlemen a cypher is also where you test your knowledge and know-how about a particular subject a particular uh genre what have you well that's exactly what lord jamal is saying he's saying hey why don't we all come together you show your proof we'll bring our proof you show us by proof not by emotions that whether it be the puerto rican community well you got to show the proof that you were there creating the genre okay and then when it comes to the jamaican community you've got to show some proof you got to show and prove uh through documentation uh, through the truth that you are the creators of hip hop because certainly black Americans, we got plenty of receipts, plenty of receipts that we can bring uh, to the table. Tell the truth. And let's get to Lord Jamal right now and let him break it on down to you. So here he is. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, you hearing what Lord Jamal has to say. He can say it better than me. Let's go. Hey, yo, peace family, what's good? Lord Jamal Law in the motherfucking house. You heard? Listen, man. <clears throat> Tell the truth. You know, I didn't even post for the last few days. I, I, I didn't even put up no receipts for the last few days. But people still coming at me, you know, want to say little shit and comments and make little posts trying to, you know, virtual signal and act like I'm some sort of xenophobe and all that. So this is what I propose, right? Let's do some hip hop shit. Hip hop is based around battles and all that type of shit, right? Um, hip hop has certain elements of the 5% nation incorporated mm -hmm. into it. That He's absolutely right. That's another element that was created by black people, the 5% yeah, the nation. Let's go. That's why we talk about having ciphers, rhyme ciphers right now. Right. But mm -hmm. really, ciphers started as an educational tool we would stand mm. in a cipher and we would test each other's knowledge wisdom and understanding so that's what i propose we do right now that's pretty Tell deep everybody uh, knowledge i did i did talk about knowledge but knowledge wisdom and understanding very powerful okay um asap i would like to host a stream where all the key players in this conversation come together and have a civilized conversation where we not name call each other and all of this type of stuff, but we civilly come together and present our case, present our evidence. Now, I like what Lord Jamal is saying right there. At the end of the day, let's take the emotions out of it. Let's bring the evidence, as I had said before I brought, brought him on here. Um, let's show your receipts, yeah, as true. we call it today. And then we can shut up all the noise. Okay. And whoever wins at the, at the end of this should receive an apology from the loser. And That's the loser fair. should go on to correct themselves heretofore. And How many of you uh, agree with what Lord Jamal is saying about let's bring forth uh, a correction. And if you can prove that you got the true history of who created it, then the other group has to be quiet and have to acknowledge how many of you agree with that. Put comments in the comment section of this video when you have opportunity and, 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 and never speak of whatever they felt their position was at the time. 
and we'll have to see who the winner is going to be. I mean, of course, I'm Man. confident of uh, the fact that black American youth created hip hop um, and all others were influenced by that. Facts. Facts. I was one of those youth. And remember, I'm going to emphasize this again, because according to DJ phase, it was um, ripped off by the younger adults and older teenagers. It was stolen from the preteens, black preteens. And uh, let's get back. Whether you had parentage from other countries and all of that, those countries didn't influence this culture that we're talking about, right? which right. we call hip hop. Right. Black American culture was created by black Americans. Once again, who came out of the slave experience, uh, who came out of reconstruction, who went through Jim Crow segregation and who did, who migrated to the North and to New York, uh, and other parts of the country through the great migration. And they brought their culture with them, which was rooted in spirituality, rooted in the blues, rooted in jazz. Um, so much ragtime music, all these different uh, musical genres played a role. So again, so I'm calling out the major players, teacher KRS one. I need you to step to the front of the class and join the cypher. That's fair. Fat Go Joe, ahead. I need you to step to the front of the class and join the cypher. <clears throat> Buster Rhymes, I need you to step to the front of the class, God, and join the cypher. Pete Rock, my brother, I need you to step to the front of the class and join the cypher. Crazy Legs, I need you to step to the front of the class and join the cypher. I would also like uh, legends like DJ FaZe to join the cypher. Uh, Raheem to join the cypher. Um, Charlie Chase. Man, those are some heavy hitters, y'all. And now he's bringing up Charlie Chase. Chase. Whip a whip. Ruby D. Uh, shit. Grandmaster Flash. Man, you can't get any better than the people that he's naming. Grandmaster Flash is definitely a legendary. And what you're going to notice is that Lord Jamal is only calling for people who have legitimate credentials. Hip hop legends. People that were there. People who have the general information of what was going on because they were alive not somebody that wasn't alive then who's just going on what they heard, but people that were there, he's asking for heavy hitters. And there ain't too many people in hip hop today that are heavy hitters, like the people that he's just naming here. You know, big dogs only, okay? Big and if dogs I didn't only. call your name, you know what? You're not big enough to be in this, okay? <laughs> Everybody that's trying to insert themselves mm -hmm. into this conversation, and, oh, let me speak. No, you're not, you're not important yeah. enough. Right. Okay, so you don't get a chance to speak. Only the ones who are worthy of a certain amount of respect are going to speak in this cycle. Okay, so again, I'm going to tag a lot of people that I would like if I forgot to say their names. I'm going to tag people in this post and hopefully uh, we could get this going in the next few days, possibly. You know what I mean? Um, and if nobody... Let me stop it right there. I hope that all these people show up and because you know that that stream is going to be off the hook. I mean, he may have a shit. You talk about uh, sh uh, um, Shannon Sharp getting a million or whatever people watching. This could be epic if he can get all these people together and then stream it. You know how many people are going to be watching this and how many people are going to take their sides in this particular battle, battle of knowledge of self. And understanding, as Lord Jamal says, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm betting on black Americans that we will have the receipts to prove once and for all, excuse me, that we are the true creators of a genre of music that other people have been biting off and borrowing from. When you look at breakdancing, before you had breakdancing, you had a dance called Burning which breakdancing derived from. It was black youth who were engaging in a dance called burning. 
and I'll be doing a video breaking more of these things down. It's about telling the truth. Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell it. And shaming the devil, everybody. Let's get back. The challenge is ready to, you know, join the cypher, because I know plenty of people who feel like black American youth created hip hop. Oh, hell They'll yeah. be there. Oh, so yeah. I'm I'll just be saying, watching. <laughs> if you feel otherwise, please come with your evidence, with your whatever you have other than emotions and just talking. This is key. This is key. Take the emotions out of it. Take just the talking out of it and show and prove. Bring your documentation. Bring the proof. He's on point here. Lord Jamal is on 100% uh, truth here. Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell it. We need more than that. We need you to come with your proof, okay? Mm -hmm. So, listen, I love y'all. I love black people, Jamaicans, <laughs> Puerto Ricans, like, you know, Cubans, Colombians, uh, you know, whatever you could think of. Like, and I know that part will just go over people's heads. Tell the truth. I'll say it anyway. Love all y'all, and let's make this happen. All right? Peace. All right. Lord Jamal comes in, tells it like it is. And uh, let me put him back up here right here, folks. Um, I thought he was on 100% point, everything that he said. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing who actually is going to have the guts, the confidence to show up and meet the challenge of this cipher. I think it's excellent. It's an excellent way to put a lot of things to rest because you must show up and not just be emotional and not just do talking, but show and prove. This is fantastic. <laughs> Lord Jamal, you're on to something, brother. So everybody, I want to thank you out there for watching this video today. And I want you to do, the me, do me a great favor here. This is a very important uh, video in terms of the things that Lord Jamal was saying. So make sure you send this uh, video throughout your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter. If you're a content creator, put it in your community tab. Tell people about the channel. I want to thank you um, for supporting this channel. But if you're, a new, if you're new to the channel and you're new to watching this video now, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification share this video with other people in your social media. And um, we'll be back with more presentation, everybody. I really appreciate everyone out there and uh, we're going to get it. So this will kind of be the style that I'll do when I do uploaded videos. And then uh, when I go live, I give you the full screen look, but everybody, I hope that he's able to pull this off and people will have the guts to come out of their hiding get off their social medias, whether it be the Fat Joes, the KRS-1s, the Busta Rhymes, it's time to put up and shut up and it's time to prove it through a cipher. Lord Jamal is on to something, y'all. Everybody, peace and take care.